Okay, so in this final part really of the basics of CSV files in Python, I'm just going to run through a quick demonstration of how we can uh, search through a CSV file to find certain pieces of information or certain records uh, <coughs> that we want. So I've gone ahead and just added a few more um, rows and uh, pieces of data to this file. So you can see I've got two extra, uh, four, three extra people actually. We added Annie Jackson from that <laughs> previous uh, video um, when we added in him to the to the CSV file, and I've added two more. And I've also added um, a another piece of information here with their gender, so female and male. And we're going to use that to print out all the males and all the females. So to do that we need to search through this text file, we need to search through the comma separated file for those pieces of uh, information. And then when we do find it obviously we'll, we'll print it out. So to get started I'm just going to simply uh, comment out this second bit. So you can highlight some rows of information that you want to comment out, go to format and just comment out region and it'll add uh, sort of these hashtags before the lines uh, which comments them out and they won't be they won't be able to be run when the program runs so what we need to do is we can print out the information once we've opened it but now we want to search the information once we've opened it so I'm going to run through it again the same way as we did before we always have to open the file you know to read the contents of it so scores dot txt uh, the mode's going to be read because we only want to we only want to read the file. Close brackets um, as score file again. Colon next line, and I'm just going to have a prompt here. I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to create a variable called gender, and the imp and its value is going to be assigned to whatever the the user types in. So enter gender. Okay, so once you've typed that in, we want to, we then want to use that information to search. So all we need to do call our reader again. So score file reader equal that to CSV dot reader, and it's going to be the object of score file. Okay, exactly the same as up here and what it probably is worth doing is just ignoring the uh, list for now and what we're going to say is the same for loop for row in score file reader so for each row in that object and then for each field in each row obviously in the in the object what we're going to say is if the field is equal to so remember before we said is not equal to zero this time we're saying is equal which is just a double uh, equal sign we're going to say if that's equal to the gender uh, variable that the person's entering then print that row Okay, simple enough. Ooh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, close the file. So score file dot close. Very good habit to always close uh, any files you open in your, inside your program. So we've got here one, two, three females in our uh, text CSV file. So if we give it a run. You can see it prints them all out. I'm just going to bring that back up. Prints them all out, all the extra ones we have. And if we enter female, obviously we've got to type it correct, otherwise it won't work. And you can see it prints out just those three. And the reason why it works is because obviously it goes through each row. And as it's looking at the row, it goes through each field. And it's saying, does Sarah equal female? No. Does Smith equal female? No. Does female equal female? Yes. Therefore, we've had a, a sort of a true response rather than false, and it's going to print the row that it's currently on, and it'll continue through the rest of the rows 
uh, checking uh, through the columns in the field, sorry, to check does 7 equal female? No. Does 5? Does 8? No. So if we don't know what column um, our information is, then obviously we just do it row by row, field by field. And obviously if we knew what uh, field it was in, we wouldn't have to do uh, for each field in the row, we could go straight to the individual field which is what I'm going to explain next and how we can target specific rows and specific fields. Okay so uh, if we want to search for a specific piece of information and we know the column or the row that uh, it's in, we can call it by its position. Now what we must understand first and foremost is that in pretty much all computer programming languages whenever we talk about a list or an array or an object that can store multiple pieces of information that are separate from one another we must remember that the positions start at zero so if I take the comma separated values file for example all of the four names so Sarah, Mike, Lee, Andy, Michelle and Maria they're all stored in position zero even though we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of information we don't say you know position one position two we have to start at position zero and then one then two then three then four and then five and so on so to do this we just have to call the value of the of the piece of information we want so I'm just going to get rid of the question I'm going to get rid of all of that so we're back to just open it up store it into an object and then reading the object and what we're going to say is for each row inside of our field uh, inside of so sorry of our score file reader I'm going to print each row but only the position we want so in this case it's going to be zero close the brackets close the round brackets as well control s to save f5 to run and you can see even that well it's printed the entirety of the file up here because we still got this code here but when we get down to this bit of coding it's only printed the first column so I could easily change this to be uh, the second column so one F5, if that run, and it prints out the surnames. So, if you know where the piece of information is and in which column it's in, so if you've got access to this, you, we, we can quite easily see that the first column is for the, the forename, the second column is for the surname, and the third column is for the gender, and then so on and so forth. It's very easy then to specifically pull that piece of information from the list or from the object rather than having to uh, go through and check every single value until we come across a match so that's a really simple way to dive into the whole of the CSV file but only pulling out the information you want using uh, values sorry using p positional values of the data we want